Hello guys, Casper from Total here. Today I'll be showing you how to embed a component made in Total into your Framer website. And right here I have my newest Framer website. It's called Joyful and it's a site uh, made through this nice new AI feature in Framer where I just typed in, hey, please make a, a nice, colorful, heavy go loggy website for my new imaginary kite flying club. And yeah, this is the result. It's pretty decent, I guess. There are images of kites and there are bright colors and a nice font and so on. It's, it's pretty cool. But it's sort of missing one crucial element when you have to go fly your kite. You need to know, is the weather going to be nice or not? But luckily, you are able to do just that by using a component made in Total. In this case, I made this small component. It's a weather widget, you might say, displaying my current location and uh, the, the degrees in, in Fahrenheit and Celsius. I uh, don't mind this silly number down here. It's just uh, a demo text. But yeah, this is styled in the same colors and fonts as my, my, my framer site. All I have to do to include this uh, dynamic widget in my Framer site is to click this button down here, export as web component, I will click it. And before exporting it, I will just change my metric to, yeah, European Celsius. And I will go down here next to the embed code section and click this button for, for copying my, my web component code. Like so, it's copied. There you go. I will close the dialog and I return to my, my Framer site. In order to insert this uh, web component from Total, I'll need to click the Insert tab here and scroll down to the button, click Utility, and then this Embed feature here. And with this one selected, I'll go to HTML and paste in my code from, from Total. Press Enter. There you go. I now have my widget or my web component from Total in my Framer site. All I have to do now is just drag it to the desired location, like so. And I will just adjust the padding here so it fits more nicely to my design. There you go. This should be decent. And it adapts to the, the breakpoints from my tablet uh, view here. And the same goes for the mobile. I think I inserted a spacer here. Yeah, there we go. This looks super cool. And I'm actually ready to, to publish this to my, my live site. I will do that, clicking here, update my page, and go to the URL for my Framer site. There we go. And yeah, it's live, it's working, it's fetching the data from Turtle through this API nicely. Super cool. Yeah, this is a new feature we have in Turtle where you can sort of embed any given component you make in Turtle into any given tool, being a no-code tool, being a code framework, doesn't matter as long as the tool reads HTML. Super cool feature allowing you to sort of add more uh, power, add more dynamic data to your static website. If you want to know more about uh, Toil and more about web components, feel free to join our Discord uh, through the link below. Cool. See you guys. Bye bye.